I don't like the way he did. That could be a very costly error. Remember. One man goes home after this match. The other one continues on in the tournament. So. This is the big shot here. He's got to get back up wow. somewhere around where the cue ball is now to attack the pink four next. And when you've got a ball in the jaws of the corner pocket, such as this three position is never straightforward. I think that's why Ronnie's taking a little extra time with this shot, Jerry. He's got a chance to break Petroni's serve. And he doesn't want to make a mistake. That three's on the rail, but he's going to have to draw back. He would like to be able to spin around two to three rails, but he can't because of the traffic. Yeah, there's no way he was going to risk doing that. This was always going to be straight back, and what a great shot from Ronnie there. No applause, but believe me, that deserved it. It could all have gone horribly wrong for him. Now he just wants to get the cue ball back over the left hand side of the table for the six. This is the chance he patiently waited for. No real problem here. has to keep his mind on the job. And oh, that's a great shot there. I don't think that'll be a problem for either one of these guys. I don't think so. I think I think this match just might have their attention. Now, if he's a, no, he's not that straight. He'll just come off the side rail and back out right about where the eight ball is. Miley in that group lost two matches 5-1 today. It's simple. Davis wins. He's on in a couple of matches time against Rodolfo Luat. He will survive, but his seeding will be way down there. He will have to play one of the big boys in the next round. Uh, Alcano fighting for his life against Fabio Petroni. Back to uh, the main table. He could really start filling the dirt in on Petroni's hole here with a good break. Slot a couple balls in and finish on either the one, two or three, whichever one still remains following the break. We've seen that one go in the side pocket a lot. And we've seen the wing ball go an awful lot. Oh, this is beautiful. A couple hundred more of these and we could be crowning Elcano as the world champion. <laughs> He got kicked out of position by the seven ball, but that's to his advantage, as it turns out. The only man he's got to defeat right now is the little man inside. He's just got to keep his nerves in check. Nothing else can stop him. It's a nice, well-spread table. Well, Jerry, this is where all those hours of practice come into play, where it becomes muscle memory. You know you're nervous. You don't try and mask it. You embrace it. Yeah, some players say they uh, think nerves make them play a little bit better. Helps improve their focus. One good shot on this four is a long ways away from it. He slots this in and finishes on the orange five. Alcano will be on the hill first. Shot. Boy, he's Handled terrific easily. human, isn't he? He's this fantastic. Guy. I tell you, I've seen him on days when it seems like he's just never, ever going to miss. He always nails his position. Seems like every player who comes over to the States from the Philippines is a world beater. They are when they leave. Yes. So many world champions in America. Good chance that a few of these guys will have taken those scalps and brought them back to the Philippines. 
armies of talented players. Jose Perica was the pioneer, followed by Efren Reyes. Now they all come over. Yeah, and with the dollar so weak now, it's a bargain for them to come over. I was talking to a Thomas Ingard earlier in the week, and he said that shopping in America is like uh, bargain basement hunting in, in Ethiopia. Alcano now stretching his lead out. Uh, two game margin over Petroni, four to two, and he sits on the hill. He doesn't need to drop, but one more nine ball to send Fabio back to Italy. Yeah, some great shot making highlighted that rack for Alcano. Over on table two, Osborne of England has defeated Tan. Uh, Alan Tan from Malaysia. Good young player. He was a good snooker player, Jerry, and trying his hand now at nine ball. This group has finished, and the top four men have gone through. The bottom four back in the bags. Looked like Kid Delicious squeaked through there. He'll be alive in the last 64. It's always a good tournament having him there or thereabouts. He did squeak through, but very slowly. Off Petroni. With the task clearly defined now. He can't afford any more mistakes. One and two deposited. He's got the three. And that looks like trouble down at the bottom left-hand corner of the pocket as you see it form up, but it's really not because of the order in which these balls will be taken. They each have a clear path after the lower ball in front of it is cleared. Yeah, I agree, Jerry. I think that Fabio, if he can just get this cue ball back towards the middle of the table and leave an angle, this five passes, gets back out in the middle, the six is available, and that'll clear the path for the seven. Right. So as you said, the simple fact that the order they're going to be removed allows each other one to pass. So Fabio has to get the job done here, and then he has to hope that Alcano blinks. And Alcano's eyes haven't been moving much. Four two for Ronnie. So Fabio wants to try and get that score line back to 4-3 and hope for a chance in rack eight. Everything open. Long way back to Rome from Chinese Taipei. Don't want to have to book that flight early. No, you don't. Nobody wants to miss the big event. Ooh. Barely slid by that seven ball. It barely still counts. Well, he's done half of his task. This is a great visit from Petroni. He's not going down without a shout. He's put the pressure back on Ronnie Alcano now. 